Welcome to the Pro Tools 8 Kit, the complete professional workflow for music production. Brought to you by Focal Press and Pro Tools 101 authors Chris Basile and Rob Shimansky. In this module, Mixing and Delivery, we will take a detailed look at preparing your work for final delivery with Pro Tools 8 LE and the Apple OS X Leopard Operating System. Finalizing your work. You should have either recorded audio or MIDI data by now, edited and prepped to be mixed, mastered and bounced down into its final formats for delivery. The workflow is nearing completion, yet there is still much to be done to clean up your work so it could sound its best. The mix window is where most of your adjustments can be made. Now all you need is to get started mixing your tracks. You need to listen to your work with headphones or studio monitors and balance out the volume of each track. Add manually or automated effects if needed. Getting a great mix is not easy and takes time. A lot of listening to your playback and hopefully when you have a mix down prepared you can now export it and finalize your work for delivery. Having a great set of studio monitors is critical for this process and there are special types. For example, when working with speakers no less than a few feet away, you will need to use near field speakers to get the best accuracy. You will also need to sit at a specific height and measure the distance of the speakers. A near field monitor is best used when mixing in rooms with poor acoustics or mixing within a few feet away from the speakers. Also, when possible, you should make sure your space is treated correctly. Proper soundproofing and use of bass traps and diffusers will dramatically improve your playback and thus your mixing ability as well. There are many tools within the mix window that you can use such as faders to adjust your volume, solo and mute control, panning to adjust the spatial characteristics of your work, inserts and sends which allow you to add effects to your tracks or entire work, as well as work with the playback engine and create and use loops for mixing. The mixing phase of the workflow is primarily tackled within the mix window itself. The mix window can be found in an open session by going to the window menu and selecting mix. Faders are important to adjust your volume, make absolutely sure your levels are balanced out correctly or you will hear things that are too loud in your mix or quite possibly too soft or too low. Solo and mute can be used to audition tracks and listen to a single track amongst many, or to mute out a track which you do not want to hear. Panning is helpful when you want to change the spatial characteristics of your work. An example would be to take your overhead cymbal microphones on a live drum kit and pan them left and right in stereo. Inserts and sends can be used to route your signal Either use a send to add an effect by routing your signal to another track or source, or use inserts to affect the track directly. You will want to adjust your playback engine again. As we learned since session setup, you will need to change your hardware buffer size to a higher sample rate so you can run effects without an issue. The recommended setting would be the highest setting available. Adding effects is simple. There are many to choose from, such as the Pro Tools 8 LE newest suite of AIR virtual effects or through other third-party plugins and processes. Using groups can help you quickly mix a group of tracks. For example, if you're recording drums and weren't able to mix the entire kit together, you can adjust each track individually to how you like it, open the groups option in the mix window, and then add a new group. You can call it drums and add all of your drum tracks. Now you can mix them all at once. You can go back into the group setting and use suspend groups to operate each fader normally again. Automation is the process of writing actions to a track's data. For example, if you wanted to apply a volume change to a track such as fading out a song, you can do that manually with your control surface and have the automation data written and recorded to be played back when the selection is also played back. Automation helps to reinforce dynamics of a selection, 
helps to focus on transition between sections, help move or evolve the mix, highlight important parts of a song or track, as well as help build up the dynamics, and so much more. To add automation, simply open the Edit or Mix window and click on the Automation section. A master fader is used for final DSP processing across the entire mix, master automation, and ultimate fader control over the entire mix. The master fader, whether viewable or not, is always present and when configured with an effect, can change the sound of an entire mix at once. This is helpful if you want to affect every track in your mix with the same processing effect. Once you have completed the mixing process by balancing out your tracks, adding effects, panning and adjusting your volume settings, added fading and other effects changing with the automation process, and perform final processing on your work, you are ready to export your project. To balance or export a final mix to disk, all you need to do is quickly check your levels and invoke the bounce command by going to the file menu selecting Bounce to, and then Disk. You can now export the file to your hard disk. From here, all you would need to do is configure settings, select the destination folder for the file, give your project a name, and click Save.